Hi everyone, I'm going to talk you very briefly through a bit of winter pruning for fruit trees. Um, be apples and pears that you can prune at this time of year. Um, other fruits need to be done when the weather warms up a bit. Um, I can't really, haven't got enough time to talk you in depth through what you do with pruning, um, but just a couple of tips here. What you're aiming to do with your winter prune is really open up the canopy to free it up with good airflow for the summer to prevent um, fungal diseases being able to set in when the weather warms up. Um, I'm showing you here on this tree which was pruned earlier this week um, which had been quite neglected for a while. So you can see here in the middle quite a few larger branches were taken out just to really open up the canopy and allow for some good airflow. Um, there were also quite a lot of what's known as water shoots on this tree, which are the tall straight stems, which go straight up. Um, we've cut those back to have about three or four buds on them, um, which hopefully some of those will produce fruiting spurs. Um, your fruiting spurs are these shorter, kind of thicker looking spurs that you see here. You'll notice they look different to the leaf buds which are these smaller ones here um, on the stems. So when you're pruning, look out for those fruiting spurs. There's some really nice ones here. And you want to leave as many of those on as you can while still maintaining a good shape on your tree because they are the ones that will produce blossoms and eventually fruits. Uh, the other thing you really need to do, um, and the most important thing really, is to remove all your dead diseased and dying branches out of the tree um, and that is a very basic how-to of your winter pruning of apples and pears.